Meanwhile, George Sr. arrived at the startled straight tent. I'll be waiting out here in my enlistment form, so go in there and scare them right into my open arm. <laughs> but as it turns out, the fair had two startled straight tents. And George Sr. had wandered into the church-sponsored one. You want to be some guy's girlfriend? Intended to scare gay young men into a heterosexual lifestyle. Want to have some guy reach around you in the middle of the night, start messing with your junk? Is he ugly? No, it's pitch black. You don't, you don't see him. And it never stops, guys. And everybody acts like it's no big deal. Is there a cover charge? So, we need the number of the one-armed man. I'm not giving you that. You want to use his disability to scare someone. That's everything I'm against. Read the button, mister! The only scary thing about a one-armed man trying to scare someone is the fact that, that he feels he that his one arm is good for nothing but trying to scare somebody. It's upside down. Well, let's say you try to put a button on with this. Oh, stop screaming! It's not scary! And meanwhile, George Sr. hadn't succeeded in startling anyone but himself. I mean, there's nothing to do all day except lift weights and fold laundry, get thrown into a cage with a bunch of sweaty men. Excuse me. I can't go back. I can't go back. Oh, I'm glad he won't be there. He's ugly. George Sr. came across a U.S. Army combat Humvee and the Pope Mobile, and he decided to escape in the bulletproof one. Tobias, still hoping it's to be crazy. in Job's trick, ventured into a costume shop he'd stumbled upon. Oh, look who's back. Years earlier. Are you gonna buy this time, or are you just curious? I suppose I'm, uh, bi-curious. <laughs> I have a big TV opportunity. This is where all the big TVs come. <laughs> what do we do? She's gonna tell Michael. And he won't hear the good stuff. He'll just hear about the beating. Wait! Maybe we can give her a forget-me-now. Here you go, hot dog. Take the pill. What's a forget-me-now? They're pills that create a sort of temporary forgettingness. So if somebody finds out how you do a trick, you just give them one of these and they forget the whole thing. It's oh. a mainstay of the magician's toolkit. Like how clowns always have a rag soaked in ether. Joe, this is flunitrazepam. It's a roofie. Those are illegal. Shut up, Mom. Don't make me give you another one of these. <sighs> Any other questions? Yes, how can you be even cuter in person than you are in your ads? Are you a CEO, CFO, or other executive facing these or similar charges? Why should you go to jail for a crime someone else noticed? You don't need double talk. You need blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. No habla espanol. Hey, so what's going on with the fundraiser? Well, uh, I don't think the Home Builders Organization is going to be supporting us. Yeah, the HBO is not going to want us. What do we do now? Well, I think it's showtime. I think we have to have a show during dinner. Hey, we can have some celebrities in, you know, Oscar winners like uh, Nicole Kidman. I don't want to just round up a bunch of famous people that have nothing to do with our family. It's some sort of cheap stunt. I mean, what's that got to do with us? Nothing. But uh, you're going to write a speech about me so they can see how wonderful I am. I think we got a better chance at Nicole Kidman. Hey, I, I don't need to take my mom to a gala, OK? Only losers go to those things with their parents. I'm going with my son. Oh, I may skip that. I don't, I don't like gallows. Actually, he loved galas. All kids do. Oh, come on. Don't leave your Uncle T-Bag hanging. Please don't call yourself that. Why don't you go up to the cabin in the woods? I thought you said we sold it. We sold the property. I worked it out so that we could relocate the cabin. But it is going to be up in Tahoe for another couple of days. Maybe you can take a date up there. How am I supposed to find someone willing to go into that musty old claptrap? The cabin, yes. And yeah, well, that would be difficult, too. Uh, Look who finally got his pants on. You've got 10 minutes. You got to get me out of here. You're the one that said no to prison. I was wrong. There, you just had to shut your eyes and take it. Here, you have to shut your eyes and give it. Now, listen. What about your family? I'd love to meet your family. Michael knew from experience that this would not turn out well. Usually once or twice a week, we get it. If you like the small, why don't you come back for the medium? Right, can you, you can see that, right? Uh, I probably should warn you about my mother. Let's start behind the fridge. So he came up with a solution so simple he wondered why he'd never told anyone it before. 
I don't have a family. You know, we need some weather balloons for this party and maybe a tank of hydrogen. You know, really float those suckers. Yeah. You're becoming a man, Dad. Isn't that what everybody wants? Of course not. Joe, can you get us out of these chains, please? Oh, so you steal my son and now you need me to save yours. All right, one key coming up. <sighs> He's a magician. But there was one piece of intelligence that Michael didn't have. Interesting. Don't even think about it, Jay. She's an MRF. MRF? What's that? Mentally retarded female. That explains what she's doing with him. And the hats. Maybe, meanwhile, had returned to Tantamount Studios, where the word was she was to be replaced. When it was discovered she was not the age she claimed to be. Please don't fire me. Fire you? Are you kidding? I've already gotten 10 requests for the TV rights to your story. You gotta get your family to sign the release papers. This is the biggest thing to happen since Uniprod hired that wee brain to run drama development. What is going on? They're getting restless. I can't offer to f in front of their husbands. This is what you're making? Poached salmonella? It'll be fine. I'll just put the sauce on them. What kind of sauce is that? Wait, this is the water I thawed the chicken in. Oh, well, that should go with chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Tobias, are you sure that, that this dolly isn't related to your recent health problems? OK, so my, my legs and my left arm occasionally go to sleep, and you want to call it a health problem. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. No, I can, I can get up myself. Oh, ah, man, yeah. Go. Let wow. me get in the dolly. No, thank you. I don't need your help. You two have always fought. I think I even have video of that. You and half of Orange County. As children, George Sr. would often provoke the boys to fight one another. He's calling you a liar. I don't want your cards, Michael. He He's believed lying. it created a competitive spirit, which equipped them for the challenges of life. Hey, let's keep it in frame. He also believed footage of the tussles would be a big hit in the burgeoning home video market. He soon franchised the concept with such titles as Boy Fights 2, A Boy Fights Cookout, and Backseat Boy Fights, the trip to Uncle Jack's 70th. Is there an Enbluth in the family that we don't know about? They say there's been money found in an account under that name. Of course not. The prosecution is trying to test us, see if we're going to turn against each other. They make stuff up. She doesn't exist. Uh, yet you refer to her as a she. He, she, what's the difference? Oh, here, here. In the dark, it all looks the same. Not really sure what you're going for there. Yeah, I'm sorry. I drank a lot last night. Yeah, why were you drinking? If I look like a man who made love to his wife last night, it's because I almost did. That's why. But Tobias had a low tolerance for alcohol. Well, you look very handsome. And so you just finished off the bottle? Well, I had to. It's vodka. You know, it goes bad once it's opened. I think that's another one of mom's little fibs, you know, like, um, I'll sacrifice anything for my children. And so the next day, Michael introduced his new consultant to his staff, who weren't that pleased to meet her. You hired someone else? Yes. We haven't even been paid yet. That's exactly why I hired her, to help out with the finances. She's absolutely amazing at that stuff, right? You, you do do finances and stuff, right? I do all sorts of scenes. There you go, okay, guys, don't be afraid to put her in any position that you want, okay? Dave, you give her access to everything, okay? I want you guys to think of her as Nellie Bluth, all right? In fact, we should probably get an ID with that printed on it, okay? But she okay. did have a list of won'ts. We're gonna have some ground rules first, okay? No f***ing, f***ing, or f***ing lasting. And no f***ing unless you're wearing a or you before you me. And if this winds up on the web, I will f you in the. Well, listen, Dad. This, this is hard. This is hard for me to say. This. I was videotaping Rita. Let's just say it would be cute if it was someone much younger. I'm sorry. Mm. I'm, we should get another tape. Mm. They're not expensive. What's the plastic fruit, Dad? It's very convincing fruit. Okay. Is she going back in for another? Well, you know, they don't even have bananas in England, okay, son? Now, I know this is hard for you, but it would be nice to be supported in some... You know, she's going into the grapes. Yeah, she really liked us. I'm sorry. I think she might be retarded. 
Hey, Mikey. Yes? I think I'm gonna cash out myself and uh, maybe go down to my little place in Cabo. What little place in Cabo, Dad? What, did you build yourself a little hideout in case you needed to escape? Of course not. Well, I don't want you to worry, Dad. There's gonna be plenty of money to be made from a business run honestly. Mm. Tell Buster I stop by, please. I do have oh, to Oh, no, leave. no, no. The party is not for Buster anymore. No, Michael, it's for you. Me. Take a look at Banner, Michael. Hey, hey. Hang on a sec. That's part of your trick, right? No. That's not my trick, Michael. It's my illusion. Michael relives a wedding nightmare. Oh, put him out! My hair! My beautiful hair! Push him in the pool! Why am I not going underwater? Dear God, why am I not going underwater? Although I haven't been to this particular location, it's on the Long Beach Harbor. That's the ship. Buster, don't worry about it. They've actually welded it to the dock. Hmm. Although, perhaps I should call the hot cops and tell them to come up with something more nautically themed. Hot sailors. Better yet? Hot sea. I like hot sailors. Mm, me too. How do you think I feel? Bob Blah Blah is a handsome, professional man, and I'm only used to, well, none of those things. Okay, Lindsay, are you forgetting that I was a professional twice over, an analyst and a therapist, the world's first analrapist? Yes, and you were almost arrested for those business cards. Yes, no, it did not look good on paper, but I didn't stop because of the police inquiries. I stopped to raise our little daughter. Why did you go off them this time? Well, apparently, mood-altering medication leads to street drugs. That's what this very handsome young doctor said on the Today Show. That was Tom Cruise, the actor. They said he was some kind of scientist. And you want to go after these people? Well, yes, it takes a little courage, Michael. I know that's not your strongest suit. You're, you're even scared to ask a girl out on a date. Why, no, why does everybody think that I'm scared of girls? Because you're a chicken. You're oh, a no. chicken. Cuckoo ka cha! Cuckoo ka cha! What are you doing? Michael yeah. and women? A cuckoo ka cha! That's what I was just telling him. Cuckoo ka cha! I haven't found the right girl. When I do, I will ask her out. Has anyone in this family ever even seen a chicken? She's not pregnant. Truthfully, we haven't even slept together. This is funny. He's gay! Where's your hand? Oh, I'm having my high school ring put on it. And my hook is stuck in the stair car. I'm actually kind of relieved it's over. Actually, Michael had been so devastated by their breakup that he'd even broken out the old guitar. Maybe you should talk to someone. Like my mom? I don't know, does she play guitar? My son's just fine where he is, and he's got the SATs coming up. You've got to do well on those. You studying upstairs? Yeah, I'm just taking a three real quick so I can get a cream soda. Oh, I'll get that for you. No, I will get it. I have to get it myself. Just relax. Let's check the stove real quick. You know, Michael, if I may take off my acting pants for a moment and pull my anaurapist stocking over my head, George Michael has been acting strange lately. I think you may have developed what we in the soft sciences refer to as obsessive compulsive disorder or the OC disorder. Don't call it that. I think ultimately it's because he's afraid to express himself. Actually, it was because he was afraid his Aunt Lindsay was going to burn the house down. Hi, how are you? Cream soda. It's been a week, nothing's happened. Yeah, but you're not the one stuck under house arrest like a sitting duck. Oh yeah, that's my father. That, that's why we had the meeting here, so that he couldn't interfere. Interfere? I had to pull down your pants and spank your ass raw. I'm sorry, have we met? Oh, yes, this is Larry Middleman. He's your father's surrogate. Surrogate? That's right, you dumb You know, uh, Rita, you're gonna figure this out eventually, but I have not been on a date in a long, long time. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> No. I'll bet men ask you out constantly. Not men like you. I seem to only meet little boys. Part of that might be that you spend your day to preschool. <laughs> and I think the stupidest <laughs> things are funny. 
Yeah, that's that's a cultural problem, is what it is. You know, you, you, your average American male is in a perpetual state of adolescence. You know, arrested development. Hey, that's the name of the show. Buster tries to forget his recent losses just by breaking out the old guitar. He's trying to make a break for it. Well, I guess we should go back. Family sticks together, huh? Yeah. On the other hand, we do have a full tank of gas, a house in Cabo, and 500 grand in cashier's checks. Let's say we give them no choice but to keep themselves all together for a while. It was Arrested Development. On the next Arrested Development, George Sr., disoriented in the walls, almost makes contact with a new mole. <laughs> Not that one. Wait for it. Oh, no. Hello? And maybe pitches her TV show to a Hollywood icon who says, No, I, uh, I don't see it as a series. Maybe a movie. <laughs>